Being digital is not just about technology implementation. Especially after COVID-19, we can see drastic change in the way everything operates. Hello and welcome to our channel Wind. We ended the last video on the note of digitalization in NVFCs. Today, we will talk about digitalization in this slide. In this era of digitalization, NVFCs also need to make that switch to reach a wider audience and seep deeper into the lending market. First, let's try to understand why we need digitalization in this sector. For financial inclusion to be successful in the long run, one needs a low-cost model that allows last-mile connectivity which NVFCs can cater to, where a regular bank fails to provide a better and wider access to credit, NVFCs come into play. These organizations work with the most underprivileged sections who are ignorant of how to maintain their funds. They act as their safety net, providing the ease of doing business through newer fintech models that were not possible earlier. With widespread and increasing acceptance to digital payments, NBFCs have an edge to extend loans and help livelihoods, not just for business or community, but for individual ventures as well. NBFCs often target such applicants that are rejected by commercial banks, thus expanding their growth. Digitalization will allow them to capture, analyze, and leverage data accurately about their current and potential customers. Let's see few instances where digitalization proved to be an asset for NVFCs, lower cost and increased efficiency. Investing in technology will significantly reduce capital expenditure and improve overall operational efficiency. Reduced paperwork and documentation struggle along with making the system more transparent. Better operational control with web-based interfaces. One-stop solution for banks, NVFCs, and fintech companies. Creation of tailor-made products and services. Better customer reach and expansion of customer base. Minimized risk of human error, thus in turn leading to an increase in customer loyalty. Easy regulation, compliances as the financial services sector is highly regulated and they need to comply with a wide range of regulations. Technology is a phenomenon that will allow personalization and flexibility that is most valued by customers. It encompasses the transformation of business and enterprises using technology so as to make experience better, communication effective and work simpler. Digitalization in NVFCs will go a long way in establishing NVFCs and in driving their success. Many NVFCs are incorporating cutting-edge technologies and do not be surprised to see many more NVFCs following suit. Financial globalization is a progressing at a rapid pace and there has been an increasing demand for products and solutions. If there is anything that you want to know, let us know in the comment section below. Your wish is our command. In the upcoming videos, we will learn in great detail about the strategies and basic principles of NVFCs. Stay connected with us. Kindly like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time we post a video. Thank you so much.